Okay, I'm here at uh, the Catholic Church. Um, this uh, Catholic Church that they call St. Patrick Catholic Church. Okay, uh, so the Lord put it in my heart to come and to, and to preach against and to show these people they sin because they're bowing down to idols. They're serving uh, and worshiping Mary over Jesus. So the Lord put it in my heart. I'm in Oklahoma City right now. And the Lord put it in my heart to speak against this church. So this is the introduction. The message to this church is to repent. Stop calling the priest father. Stop going to the priest to confess your sins. The Bible says if we sin, we confess our sins to God. And God is faithful to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We shouldn't be calling no priest father. Matthew chapter 23 verse 9 tells us that there's only one father. And that's the father in heaven. Call no man your father. And there's an idol over there. And that's the idol that they worship in. That idol right there, perched out, and God said, "Don't do that." So I'm here to speak against the Catholic Church today. Excuse me. How you doing? Are you uh, Catholic? You a Catholic? Okay, I came to tell you that that church is not of God. Okay, the Bible. You have to read your Bible. The Bible tells us not to place up images, not to place post up images. We don't pray to Mary. The Bible says there's only one God and one mediator between God and man, and that's Christ Jesus, not Mary. And by you turning a deaf ear to me, you are turning a deaf ear to God, because I am the servant of God. I am the vessel used by God. I am the voice of God. You must turn away from your sin. And go for you too, sir. You got to read your Bible, man. Read your Bible. We're not supposed to pray to Mary. Mary is nobody. She's just the mother of Jesus, not the mother of God. We shouldn't be calling her Virgin Mary. She's not a virgin anymore. She had four kids. She's not a virgin. The only way to get to God is through his son, Jesus Christ. Okay? God is calling us to righteousness. God is calling us to read his Bible. We're going to this place and we're not reading our Bible. The Catholic Church don't teach you the Bible. They don't they instruct you to read the Bible. It's like me telling you that that building is burning that The Bible says it is appointed for man to die once after this is judgment. God has set up a day to judge the world. Why? Because we are not following his word. You're having faith in a priest and don't you, don't you see on the news how many priests have fondled children? A lot of priests are child molesters. Why are you taking your children in a place where this man could be a child molester? Since when do we listen to child molesters? The Bible tells us not to put up false gods. Why are we going into a place where they're teaching you to serve and worship idols? You got women coming to church in, in shorty shorts. What kind of stuff is that? Huh? What, how is that golly? How is that, how is that modest? You come to church like that. Yeah, how you doing? I'm back again. Yeah, I'm back again. I'm back again to tell y'all to stop praying to Mary. Stop praying to Mary. Mary can't hear you. She doesn't have the power. She doesn't have the authority. Go through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is who died for our sins, not Mary. The dead saints cannot hear you. Go through, go through Jesus Christ. That's who died for us. You people need to read your Bible. You need to read history. Martin Luther, Martin Luther protested against the Catholic Church in the 1500s. Why? Because they were teaching people to do things that was not right, that was outside of, the, uh, outside of the will of God. But the funny thing is, Jesus says, our ears are dull of hearing. You're hearing the warning and you're still going in that building. I could be telling you that building is going to fall and you'll still go in there. That's how headstrong you people are. You won't listen to what God said. You turn a deaf ear to God. A deaf ear to God. God has sent me. I'm not even from my Oklahoma. God has sent me here, ordered my footsteps to tell you the truth, and nobody listened. The Bible says, the Bible says, cry aloud and spare not. Lift up your voice and show my people they sin. And you may say, well, preacher, what kind of sins do I have? I go to Catholic.
Catholic Church every Sunday. I go to Mass every day. I get the I get the the, the 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 I go to Ash Wednesday and get the the, the uh, ashes on my on my forehead. That is your sin. That is your sins. You're not supposed to pray to Mary. Why are we praying to Mary? Why are we calling that priest father? Jesus, don't you not know that Jesus says, ma'am, this is not a, a convention where we wave at each other. I'm telling you something that you need to hear. This is not a game. You're too old to be playing games. Your clock is ticking. Any given moment, God can come for you. And if you're not living right, there's no purgatory. Nobody can pray you out of that. If you're not living right, you're going to hell. You're going to hell. You got to turn away from your sins, turn away from idolatry. The Bible says, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. It said, don't be deceived, but you're being deceived. You have been tricked. You prefer to listen to the priest before you listen to God. You prefer to listen to the priest before you read your Bible. You need to read your Bible. That is a, that is a saying that you're bringing your children to hear a priest. Most of the priests are child molesters, and you're bringing your children to hear a child molester priest to your children. Do you not read the news? Do you not see what all the Catholic priests are doing? You're in a place that God is not in. That is a dead church. Who is St. Patrick? Where is Patrick in the Bible? There is no St. Patrick in the Bible. Why are we putting St. Patrick's name on God's building and calling it a church? Patrick is not even in the Bible one time. The Pope is not in the Bible one time. If the Pope was right here, you'd be bowing down and kissing his feet and worshiping him. Where did we ever do that in the Bible to a man? The only person we do that to is Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is Lord over everything. Why are we putting the Pope? Why are we following the Pope? Why are we praying to Mary? These things are abomination in the eyes of God. And you people are bringing your children in here to a place that is an abomination. I dare you do that. I dare you do it. Yeah, I'm back again. The servant of God is back here again. The voice of God is back here again. He's speaking. Turn from your sins. Turn from your sins. You're wasting your time going in that church. You're wasting your time going in that church. You want to you wanna know about God, get your Bible and read it. Don't let a priest tell you about God. He never show you anything in the Bible. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, no man come unto the Father but by me. We are not supposed to be going to Mary. They're teaching you that you can pray to Mary. That Mary hell, they're teaching you to say, hell Mary. We are supposed to go to God and ask God to forgive us of our sins. That's what Jesus died for. We're not supposed to go through Mary. We can't conjure up the dead. That's witchcraft. I'm telling you something good, ma'am. You need to listen. That's like me telling you the building is going to fall, but you're still walking in there. Bible says that I, my people have a dull, they're dull of hearing. They have deaf ears. God is warning you people that this is a false religion. This, this church is not of God. They are teaching you to worship Mary. They are teaching you to put Mary above Jesus. They are teaching you that Mary is, a, is another mediator. The Bible says there's one God. What? Because God sent me. I'm not harassing, ma'am. That's a false accusation. I'm not harassing. What I'm doing is warning. What I'm doing is warning. Why can't you warn somewhere else? Because God told me to come right here. I don't stand before you on judgment day. I don't take instructions from you. God told me to stand here. It doesn't matter. They're not worshiping God. They're worshiping the devil. Why can't they worship? Because they're not, be, because, how are you going to worship the way you want? The Bible said, be not wise in your own opinion. Listen, the Bible said, there's a way, there's a way that seems right to a man, but, but the end right of is, the, is the way of serve. death. The thing is, we're supposed to worship God the way we're supposed to worship him. We can't just worship him the way well, we want. why don't you do that? I am doing that. You're I am. Doing I come in here to tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says there's one God, one mediator between God and man, and that is Christ Jesus. So why are we going through Mary? Who is St. Patrick, man? Do you read your Bible? Who is St. Patrick? Can you tell? Can you point to your Bible and show me St. Patrick? Why is St. Patrick name on this building? And we call ourselves Christians. Who is St. Patrick? Who is that? Who are you to judge? Who is that? Who are you to the Bible judge? says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, read your Bible. He that is spiritual judges all things. Judge the word judging, I'm not condemning no, anybody. Judging is saying what's you right and what's wrong. I need, need to what? To 
Oh man, you need to know your First Amendment. I have the right to be here. I have the you freedom have the of speech. Right I have the freedom. I, I have the freedom of speech. I have the freedom you to do. exercise my religion. I have the freedom to assemble together on yep. public property. This is public property. I'm not on that property. I have the right to be here. They you called the police right on me yesterday. The police told me I have the right to be here and I can preach as I want. Ma'am, you need to listen to what I'm saying and stop rebelling against the words of God. You're not rebelling against you me. You're rebelling against you out God. Here making all this have you read your Bible? Ma'am, have you read your Bible? Oh, yeah. Look at, okay, look at Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. He told right the to prophet to go people. cry aloud and spare not. He said, lift up your voice and show my people they sin. All the prophets through the Bible, I can tell you ain't reading your Bible because you'll know if what I'm doing is right. But you have to what read your Bible, man. Because the Bible says we are destroyed are for the lack of knowledge. I can do that. That's a righteous judgment. All I'm doing is all I'm doing is determining between right and wrong. It's wrong to, to go through marriage. It's wrong. The Bible says don't do that. The Bible tells us only one way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, No man come unto God but by me. I'm sorry? You're no different. You're no different. Okay. Okay, so you just made a judgment that I'm no different, but you tell me I can't judge. But that's cool, because your judgment doesn't make any difference to me, because that's I know right. I've been sent out here by God. I'm just saying, you're no different. That's, that's, that is you your opinion, and that and is your judgment, and I'm not going people. anywhere. This I'm not going anywhere. You don't like me being here, call the police. Well, it doesn't please matter. I have that right. I have my First Amendment right. Call the police. You got the phone. Why am I calling the police? I said, if you don't want me here... I call the police. I don't have Why phone. would I call the police? Let me have your phone. I'll call it. I'm not giving you my personal property. Why yeah. would I do that? I don't know you. Well, Why would I do this that? This is my property. This oh. is my neighborhood. Okay. Okay. These people are welcome here. Okay. So we'll we'll see who I've property been in this is neighborhood because for this is public property. Years. Don't a human being own this. Only the government, the state, own this. Okay. Anyway, ma'am, I'm not gonna let you uh, distract me. The Bible says, "For there is one God." There's one mediator between God and man. I'm pathetic because I'm quoting the scripture. So that's how you feel about God's word. You feel God's word is pathetic. The Bible says there's one God, one mediator between God and man, and that is Christ Jesus. It's not Mary. Stop praying to Mary. Your prayers are useless. She don't have the power. She don't have the authority to answer your prayer. It's only Jesus. Jesus is the one that went on the cross and died for us. Mary said herself, whatever he say, do. Listen to him. Why are you not listening to him? Why are you listen? Why are you choosing a priest over Jesus Christ? This church is an abomination. Martin Luther preached against this church in the 15th century. He has read the Bible and he realized that you are going contrary to the word of God and he protested against. Do you not know that the that the Roman Catholic Church persecuted Christians, killed Christians, and you call yourself a Catholic Christian? Are you crazy? What are you reading? You people are like that because you're not reading your Bible. Some of y'all are walking to church like you're going into a nightclub. That's not being modest. You're bringing your children into a place where that child molester is at. Don't you read the news? Half of the Catholic priests are child molesters. And you feel comfortable bringing your children in to listen to a child molester instruct you on how to live, by God, live for God. Bible says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. God told me to come out here and raise my voice and cry out loud. And I'm not going to let no devil tell me to be quiet. Somebody that don't know the word of God tell me, you won't instruct me. You're not giving me no instructions. You can't, I don't care what you think you own. You don't own this. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the, and the fullness thereof. Not yours. God sent me out here. Well, you'll find out on judgment day who's really sick. I pray for you, though. I pray you get saved. I don't hate you. I'm not condemning you. I'm warning you, lady. That's all I'm doing. This is love. This is love. This is demonstration of love. You're going the wrong way. I came out here to tell you to go the right way. Ma'am, you're wasting your time going into that church. That church is an abomination. That is not the church of Jesus Christ. That is the church of St. Patrick. Who in the world is St. Patrick? The problem is you people don't read your Bible. You don't read your Bible, so you don't know any different. That's why God sent me out here. God is trying to reach out to you, but you won't listen. You got deaf ears. I'm a voice for God. I was sent by God. God is calling you to holiness. God is calling you to righteousness. That bell, 
All that is is the devil ringing the bell and telling all his children to come on in. The devil is ringing the bell and he is saying, come on children, come on in while I falsely teach you the things about God. I can teach you to Hail Mary. I can teach you how to pray to Mary. I can teach you how to pray to the dead saints. That's witchcraft. That's not a God. Read your Bible. Not one of y'all are walking in there with a Bible in your hand. Not one of y'all. Because they don't teach you the Bible. They teach you idols. They teach you rituals. And that's what you're doing. How blind are his people? How blind are his people? How blind are his people? The devil is calling. The devil is calling. His children is entering in the building to listen to the devil speak. And the devil is showing you that this is his building because he has a statue out front with a serpent around a man's foot. That is letting you know that's the devil. This building is the devil. Ma'am, you're wasting your time going in there. That is an abomination building. If I was you, I would listen to God. Go home and read your Bible. Go home and read your Bible. You are wasting your time going in there. They are not going to tell you about the things of God. Nine times out of ten, that, that priest might be a child molester. I don't know if he is or not, but I know in the news, a lot of them come out to be child molesters. They are embracing. The Catholic Church are embracing the things that are abomination to God. Homosexuality is an abomination to God, but they are teaching you universal. That's what Kathy did. Universal. Accept everybody. Embrace everybody. Well, God didn't accept them in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed that city with fire and brimstone, and he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. I'm telling you, God said we should repent. We should turn from our sins. Turn from our sins. Turn from our wickedness. That is not right. The Bible said, for there is one God. One mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary is not our inner sister. The Bible didn't tell us to go through Mary. Hey, Jesus okay, never showed us that you? example. What's going on? He's just I, I, preaching. I, I, how you doing, sir? You can talk to me. I'm, I, I'm preaching. That's my wife. She just videotaping me for my protection. I'm out here exercising my First Amendment right. I'm not threatening anybody or anything like that. All I'm doing is exercising my freedom of speech, exercising my, um, my, uh, my, my, the freedom of my religion. We are assembled here together together right here on public property property and I'm just telling these people that God has put it in my heart they say they serving God but they serving God the wrong way and God put it in my heart to come out here and to teach them and to tell them that I'm not disrespecting anybody I'm not on their property I'm over here yesterday an officer came mm -hmm. me and I had a talk <laughs> she told me and I got it on videotape she told me go ahead and preach you can preach as long as you want as long as you stay over here and she said as long as that you don't go over there or touch the people or do anything like that i'm not going to do that i'm a christian the bible teaches me to respect you people that's in authority okay so you know if you, you tell me not to do certain things you know as long as it's not going against my first amendment right on my or the bible i don't have no problems doing that you know so, and, and i'm not using any bullhorn or anything like that i'm just talking and i'm trying to reach people that's over there i'm not threatening anybody i'm telling anybody because we're christians and they say they're christian but we, we got to follow the bible it's just like in the, it's just like in the, in the united states I'm, I'm just, spe I'm, ba I'm basically speaking, um, my, my, I'm exercising my religious belief. We are supposed so to be on the you're same page. You're not, you're not doing anything like that, having a petition or protesting. Mm -hmm. no, no, what I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm just quoting scriptures. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. you have a great day. Okay, you thank too. You. Have thank a blessed you. one, guys. Thank you. The Bible said there's one God, one mediator between God and man. Same guy that went yesterday. One God, one mediator between <laughs> God and man, the man Christ Jesus, not Mary. The same guy yesterday called him when he when he when he when the police come, he like to go talk to him. <laughs> we worship Jesus, Jesus Christ. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. We cannot have everlasting life in any other name other than the name of Jesus Christ, which is the Son of God, which is the Messiah, which is the one that was supposed to come. He is the great I am. That is the one we're supposed to worship. We cannot worship anybody else other than him. When the Bible, Jesus says, anything you ask the Father in my name, he will do. We got to ask God in Jesus' name, not in Mary's name, not in St. Paul's name, and definitely not in St. Patrick's name. I don't know who the world is St. Patrick. He's not in the Bible. I've combed the scriptures. I haven't seen Patrick one name in the Bible. I, I, I went through my strongs. I looked up Patrick. Patrick is not in the Bible. I don't know who is this person that he, he 
he's, he's able to be put on a building on, on, on supposed to be a Christian church. This ain't no Christian church, it's a Catholic church. Catholic and Christian is two different things. That's an abomination. abomination before the Lord. The Bible said there's one God, one mediator between God and man. The man okay, I will. I will, sir. I will. I will. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me shall be condemned. I don't have to fear anybody. I know God is on my side. God sent me out here. If I came out here on my own, I'd be locked up. Mm -hmm. and, and the Bible teaches you to respect the authority. As long as they're not telling me to do something that's contrary to the word of God, I'm going to mm -hmm. respect it. The thing is, the thing is, uh, it's funny, man, how your own people that call themselves Christian call the police on you when you start speaking the truth. I'm not out here telling them to leave God. I'm not out here telling them to, uh, there is no God. I'm not out here telling them, no, come serve Allah. I'm telling them what the Bible tells them. The Bible tells them that there's one God, one mediator between God and man, and that's Christ Jesus. They get mad and call the police on me, but they in there calling themselves Christians. Ma'am, you're going into the wrong building. That is an abomination in the eyes of God. You're wasting your time going inside that, that building. That is not the building of God. The Bible teaches us there's one God, one mediator between God and man, and that's Christ Jesus, not Mary. Stop wasting your time and your breath praying to Mary. Your prayers are not being answered. Stop saying, Hail Mary. There's no Hail Mary in the Bible. Yeah. You know what? We can, we can, we can, yeah, we can. Hey, first of all, I want to greet the saints in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to thank God for this opportunity. Um, this is my second day preaching against the Catholic Church, St. Patrick Catholic Church out here in Oklahoma. God has put it in my heart to uh, speak against this church. This church got false idols outside. I walked inside the church. They got idols everywhere, man. Um, and God says, God, that was one of the second commandments God gave Moses. And even in the, in, even in the New Testament, in 1 John, John tells us little children uh, 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 flee from uh, idols. You know, we got we to gotta stay away from these things. We got to start listening to what God says, man. It's just plain and simple. When God tells us to stop doing something, just stop doing it. How are we going to let men tell us to do it? These, these people are serving idols. These people are worshiping. When they sin, they are taught in there to go to the priest and call him father and to say father forgive me for my sins the priest asked him what do you do what did you do my son they talking to each other like man talking to god and god talking back to his son he's taking the place of god and then when the person confessed their sins to them his remedy for that is to take the take the beads take your rosary and go over there and tell me he determines whether it be five Hail Marys or six Hail Marys or 15 Hail Marys. But the funny thing is, why are we even saying Hail Mary is a prayer? Why are we saying Hail Marys? Where in the Bible have it taught us to, to say Hail Marys? You know, so God is raising his preachers up. Listen, brothers and sisters, we are really living in the last days. These are the last days. Any given day, Jesus is coming back. And God is raising, if you read the Bible, all through the Bible, God always raised his prophets up when things were so bad, right before destruction come, God sent his people out there to warn people to turn from their ways. The Bible says, Jesus says, if, if, if my people would turn from their wicked ways and hear, and, hear and, and, and seek my face, he will hear their prayer. God wants this nation to turn away from their sins. This lady right here protested against me, spoke against me. The police came, they ain't locked me up, did they? Cause I was doing the right thing, man. Jesus love you, not Mary. Anyway, so yeah, this lady called the police on me. They didn't call the polos, police on me. Uh, tried to get me locked up. This is the second day they did it. This, this time two squad cars came. But you know, the Bible says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned. You know, if God be for you, who could be against you? You know, so I, I don't fear the police. I don't fear man. I don't fear nobody. When God put it in my heart to do something, I just do it. I don't let nobody stop me. I don't care who you is. <laughs> I work for God. I serve God. God is my creator. God is my protector. God is my shield, my, my buck. But not man. I don't care what man say. 
God got more power than the police, than the government, than everything. I done been in the hands of the government. I done seen God deliver me out of there. So I definitely ain't going to be afraid of the police because the government is bigger than the police and God is bigger than the government. So anyway, you know, this is just my introduction. You know, I'm just letting y'all know, you know, if anybody who's watching this video, you're a Catholic, I came to tell you, get out of that. That is an abomination. That is a, that is a, that is a den of devils. That, that is a false religion. They're teaching you false doctrines. They're not even teaching you anything about God. You don't even read the Bible in there. You're not even instructed to read the word of God. You got to listen to the priest. Don't we know that, that Martin Luther preached against, he protested against the Catholic Church. After he'd been in there and seen the things that he was doing, he protested against the Catholic Church. And we don't read history. We don't know anything. The Bible said my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We don't read. We just follow. We follow anybody who puts on a robe and say God told them this and God told them that. But you, the, you, we need to be like the Bereans. The Bereans, even though Paul, the apostle, who was considered a mighty man of God, who wrote 90% of the Bible, even when he showed up in the synagogue in Berea, they listened to him and they searched the scriptures. They searched the scriptures to see if it was so. This is this lady videotaping me. They searched the, video, uh, the, the, the scriptures to see if it was so, and it was so. So the thing is, that's what we got to do. We got to search the scriptures. This lady videotaping me. This is the one who, who, who told me that I ain't, no, I ain't no different than them. Told me I'm the same. She told me to go away. But I told her, you don't, own, you don't own this property. You don't own this earth. The earth is the Lord and the fullness is of. She told me she owned this building. She don't own nothing. God owns everything. She told me that I need to leave. <laughs> who are you to instruct, especially a woman? Who are you to tell me to leave? Bible tells you to even, even in church to keep silent in the church. But who are you to tell me and instruct me like you're my mom? Who are you to instruct me to tell me to do something? Only my mom has that right and that power and that authority to do that, to tell me. Because the Bible tells me, honor my mother and my father. I got to listen to my mother. Then tell me to listen to nobody else. I'm listening to God. God tell me to be here. And one thing about the devil, man, anytime God tell you to be somewhere, the devil always going to show up and tell you to leave. Get out of here because you are in his kingdom. You're, you're exposing him. You're revealing. You're bringing light into darkness. And he don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, man, I just want to say God bless you. I'm on a little intermission right now because I caught the people coming in. And now they're in their service listening to the devil speak to them. Uh, they're down on their knees saying they're Hail Marys. Some of them in a confession box confessing all their personal sins to, the, to this priest instead of confessing it to God. Man, this is crazy, man, when you don't know that word, man. But, uh, you know, so I'm just waiting. I'm waiting on that man to call the police on me, too, in his little go-kart. He not even in there listening to the Bible. He always be out here riding around like he's security. I don't know who he think he is. Well, I'm going to try to catch this individual and speak to him right now if he come this way. I came to tell y'all that Jesus Christ is the only way. Do you know that? You know Jesus Christ is the only way? If they're teaching you to go through Mary, that's a lie. That's not scripture. The Bible said there's one God and one mediator between God and man, and that is Christ Jesus. Mary is not our mediator. We can't pray to Mary. We can't pray to the dead saints. It's Jesus that died for us. Who is St. Patrick? Why is St. Patrick's name on God's church? Who is he? He's not in the Bible. Huh? Catholic. Oh, so you, you, you speak English? No. Okay, well, un momento, un momento, un momento. Let me get my wife. Hey, come, come. He don't speak English. Come on. Sorry. Oh, you could have left it on with the AC on until you get back in. I'm, re I'm recording this, but I'm, I'm not going to put it on you. Okay. Ask him what is he saying. Okay, 
a la iglesia. Y usted dice, no, no, yo tengo que ver este juego. Usted está poniendo ese juego primero que Dios. ¿Entiende? Eso dice que no podemos poner a nadie en primero que Dios, ni a nuestro esposo, familia, ni nada. Pues. So we're not supposed to pray to Mary. No debe de rezar. En la Biblia no dice que le rece a la Virgen María, ni a la Virgen de Guadalupe, ni a nadie de los santos. Pues. The Bible, the Bible, which is the final word of God, that's the Bible. En la Biblia que es lo, lo, las últimas cosas que Jesucristo dijo, pues. Teaches us that there's one God. Enseña que nomás hay un Dios. One mediator between God and man. Un mediador, pues, mientras en nosotros y el hombre eh, Jesucristo. Pues. And it's Christ Jesus. Y es Jesucristo. Okay. Es como usted si va a la corte, they, they, usted no puede ir a decirle al juez, hey, tengo que decir tal, o el juez le dice, espérese. Usted siéntese y hasta que él dé permiso o tenga un abogado, ¿verdad? Okay. Jesus, Porque uno no tiene el derecho Jesus, a hacer Jesus, eso. Jesus taught us to go into our closet and pray to the Father. En la Biblia dice que cuando queremos orar, que entremos a nuestro closet y le oremos a Dios. The Father, which is God in heaven. Sí, o sea, Jesucristo, pues no al Padre, no al sacerdote. He said, anything you ask the Father in my name, he will do it. Dice que lo que usted le pide a, a Dios en su nombre, él lo va a hacer. But but they teach you to pray to Mary. They teach you to pray to pray to the dead saints. This is witchcraft. What is it? You don't, but listen. Yeah, yeah. They, I, tell them, tell them, yes, yeah, tell them, yes, they are alive. But they do not have the authority. They don't have the power to answer prayers. Jesus says, Jesus says, Jesus says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, no man come unto God but by me. So we can't go to Mary to get a message to God or to Jesus. Uh -huh. We got to go to God through Jesus. Jesus says, I am that door. Porque Jesus never said, you can talk puerta, to my mom. Pues. No dice en la Biblia, oh, habla con mi mamá y yo te hago lo que yo quiera. Como le digo, es lo mismo. Es como que uno le pide algo a su esposa. Usted como hombre, usted es el, el que manda en la casa. Ella le tiene que pedir permiso a usted. Hey, él saying. es mi esposo, soy yo igual a él. Si yo tengo algo que hacer, yo le tengo que pedir permiso a él. Hey, ¿me dejas hacer esto? We keep calling her. hacer esto otro? We translate this. We keep calling her the Virgin Mary. Le dicen la Virgen María, pues. But if we read in Mark chapter 6, verse 3, it gives you an account that she had six, at least six kids after Jesus. Pero si lee en Mark, what? I'm sorry. Mark chapter 6, verse 3. En, en el versículo 6. What? Chapter 6, verse 3. So when before so she no had Jesus, Jesus yes, she was a virgin. Before Jesus, she was a virgin. A, a After Jesus was born, she was a virgin. But when her and her husband Joseph got together to, to, to work on the next kids, she was no longer a virgin. Sí, so no virgin pues We're calling somebody who is not a virgin anymore. We're still calling her the Virgin Mary. She's not the Virgin Mary. Si no she is the mother of Jesus, not the mother of God. Jesus, she's the mother of Jesus, not the mother of God. But the thing is, we are not, and, 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 and I'm, I'm just telling you because I believe God sent you here for a reason. God ordered your footsteps to go here knowing that you won't understand that language. You got to read. The, the, thing, no is, luego, luego. the thing is, read your Bible. ¿Entiende? ¿Sí entiende, yeah. ¿verdad? Tell him to read. He's, he's smiling because yeah. he's getting it. Yeah. ¿Sí entiende? Por algo vino usted para acá. Yeah, the, the, read your Bible. Read, start in, Ma in Matthew and read le, every day all the way until you finish through Matthew. Si no that is the book you need to read. Tell him, be honest. Uh, uh -huh. What he said? Christian church, uh, you'll do better there. You'll do better. You'll do better there. Le va a abrir los ojos lo que dice. Por eso, como mucha gente dice, ay, tú me estás diciendo, no, como él dice, no es mi opinión, es la opinión de la Biblia. Sí. Yo te estoy diciendo, es como usted que, que usted, vamos a decir, esté tomando. ¿Qué es la ley del gobierno? No puede manejar y tomar. Puede tomar en su casa, pero no puede manejar y tomar. Si lo agarra la policía, ¿qué le van a decir? Lo van a meter a la cárcel, le van a dar un ah. ticket. Usted va a decir, pero yo no sabía. ¿Y eso qué importa que usted no sabe? Usted tiene que saber leer. ¿Verdad? Y desgraciadamente, si sí es verdad, muchos, porque yo conocí a alguien, él no hablaba nada de inglés. Uh -huh. Y todos le tenemos que decir, ah, no puedes manejar y tomar como en México. Allá sí puedes hacer lo que quieras, aquí no. Ay. Aquí te meten a la cárcel. Ay. Y es lo malo, pero usted sabe que si le dice a la policía, no, pues sabes que yo no sé leer inglés. ¿Qué le van a decir? No me importa que lo sepas. 
¿verdad? Por eso, como él dice, lea la Biblia usted por sí mismo para que la Biblia le vaya abriendo los ojos. Tell him that these people teach, they, people teach him that when he, and when he sinned, he's to go to that priest and call him father in a confession box and confess all his sins to him. And he's going to tell him to go say the rosary, the 15 Hail Marys, and that's not in the Bible. Tell him sí, that. dice que en la Biblia él también ha leído que ya ve que dice que vaya a la cajita y pida perdón por sus pecados, pero en la Biblia no dice eso. En la Biblia dice que usted le, es, es como que usted venga y me diga a mí, oye, perdóname, engañé a mi esposa. Yo quién soy para perdonarlo a usted. Usted tiene que ir a ella, ¿verdad? Tell y him, decirle, perdóname por verte engañado. Tell him when he sinned, he sinned against God, the Creator. You he said, should go on his knees and ask God, God, forgive yeah. me, I have sinned, I have done wrong. I ask this in the name of usted Jesus. Usted cuando cometa un, uh, un pecado, usted en que se pídale perdón a Dios. Okay. También, como le digo, también le tiene que pedir perdón a esa persona. Pero en, en muchos casos, depende. Tell him, be honest, Wait. have he not heard on the news how many Catholic priests yes. have fondled and molested young children? Sí, bueno. Why we go to a place yes. to listen to child molesters? Si okay, no not usted saying he's hacer, one, I don't know. Usted puede hacer dos he's cosas. laughing because he knows the truth. Okay, usted puede hacer dos cosas. Pedirle perdón a ella, que ella lo va a divorciar, se lo va a dejar. Okay. So no puede, mejor no hacer eso, ¿verdad? Pero sabe que puede hacer? Se inca y le pide perdón a Dios. Usted dígale a Dios, no lo vuelvo a hacer, perdóname. No, ya no hay nada. Tell him, look at that, at, look at, tell, tell him, look at that idol Dios over there. Perdona. Tell him, look at the devil on top of that thing. Usted, ve, usted sabe look, que, ¿quién, quién es la serpiente? Es el diablo, ¿verdad? Mm. ¿Y por qué tienen la serpiente allí? ¿Y quién es San Patricio en la Biblia? And God said in no the Bible in Exodus en that we must not uh, 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 rid up idols y en la and, work, and put up idols and put no them as images. Que no tiene que tener um, imágenes de santos. Porque usted le está, él le está, es como que vamos a decir que su esposa tenga un retrato de John Sebastian, sin camiseta. Y, y él, y usted le diga, vamos al, a la recámara. No, espérate, deja ver ese retrato primero. ¿Por qué quiere ver ese retrato primero? Tell Yo him, voy con usted para imaginar otras cosas. Está dándole el amor a él, pero luego va con usted. Tell es him, lo Patrick. mismo. Y dicen que Dios, Dios dice que él es bien celoso. Pues usted le está orando a un santo. Dios tiene celos porque usted le está orando a él en lugar de orarle a Dios. And tell him St. Patrick, St. Patrick is not in the Bible. Why do we that. put, why do we put that name on the building so they're in there worshiping St. Patrick? Sí, es lo que dice, como dice San Patricio, ¿quién es San Patricio? No why does his Biblia. name go on the building of God? Who is no he? He's Biblia. not in your Bible. He's not in the Bible. The, the... Por eso le digo, póngase a orar, oiga. Yeah. Tell him God is dealing Orale with him. a Dios. Todo, todo la palabra de Dios es bien. Todo lo que yo he ido ahí. Uh -huh. Yo he ido hacia la Ajá. ¿Y a cuál le gusta más? ¿Esta o la cristiana? Keep going. Go there. Tell him I said go there. That's probably better A ver, aquí diga la verdad. Allí le dicen que lea tal capítulo junto con el Padre. Porque allí en la iglesia, nosotros hemos ido a una iglesia y ahí donde vamos nosotros, el pastor dice, ok, está en tal, tal libro. Y ya nosotros abrimos y sí es lo mismo. Y él dice, y él nos dice, él mismo nos dice, estudien su palabra. Tell si no me quieren creer a mí, a mí no me crean. Estudien la Biblia ustedes por sí mismos. Tell him God has, is stopping him from going in there and sending him to go where he No went. cree que, que por algo Dios lo está deteniendo. Go to the Christian church. Allá. Do, tell him, do they teach the Bible Porque in there? No do they que open up the Bible in there? Porque no se mira que se está descociendo por entrar. Oh, no, ya me voy. <laughs> What do you say? A ver, ¿sí le enseña la Biblia? ¿Sí le leen la Biblia ahí? No, no, pero ahorita voy a ver. Es que ahí está mi familia. Andele, iré. Está en inglés, pero su hijo le Yeah, but he don't speak English, so. Bueno, que Dios lo bendiga. Okay. Videotape. Ajá. Talk it to him. Oh, okay. Videotape. Okay, sir. Dios te bendiga, man. Go, go to the Christian church. It's no good. Vaya a la iglesia cristiana, oiga. Y lee su Biblia, es lo más importante. He came from there. I don't know if he came from there, but he's going back to his car. No, he's going to church. Oh, he's going to church? Huh? He said that? No. How did you come out of there? Oh, what happened? Because he smiled at you and like that. I saw him over there took somebody. And I told him, I go, if you're having an affair, and he just, he went like that. That's and probably what it is. He probably meeting up here. Are you going to ask her, what are you? Call the police on me numerous of times. And I have not been removed. I have not been removed because it is God that ordered my steps. It is God that planted my feet. It is God that gave me a mouth to speak on his behalf. And I am speaking that you people need to repent. You need to turn away from your wicked ways. Stop, stop living in idolatry. The Bible says 
that, that, that know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. In the name of, there's many names on the list, and one of them is idolatry. You are in here with a house full of idols. God hates idols. But you don't know that because you don't read your Bible. You come to church to hear the priest preach, and he ain't preaching nothing about the Bible. You people need to read your Bible. God is, God is judging this place. God is sending a warning to you to read your Bible. These people are not teaching you to read your Bible. Martin Luther in history has preached against this church, has preached and protested against the Catholic Church. But we don't read history. We don't know. Man, that's okay. I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate yeah, that. Would you like it? No, thank you. I thank, I thank you. I thank. But the thing is, what, what, what I want to tell you, ma'am, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you pray to Mary? Do you say Hail Mary? Not usually. Okay, but you shouldn't do it at all, ma'am, because the Bible tells us there's one God, one mediator between God and man, and that is Christ Jesus. That's the only way to God. It's through Jesus, not through Mary, not through the dead saints. We don't go in there to the priest and call him father. Jesus says in Matthew 23 and 9, call no man father on this earth. There's only one father and that is God. I don't need anything from you. You know water. I ain't accepting nothing from, a, from, a, from an evil person. You're an idolatry. Jesus Christ died for us, not Mary. There is no purgatory. The priest is lying to you. There's a heaven and there's a hell. If you are an idolater, you are going to hell. You can go to church every Sunday for 15, 20 years going to church. And when you die, you're going to open your eyes like the rich man in hell because you have rejected the knowledge of the Lord. You have failed to open up your Bible and read your Bible. You prefer to put your faith in a priest that is lying to you, that is leading you astray. And you don't know any better because you don't read your Bible. The Bible says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We are destroying ourselves. God will send somebody out here to send you a warning and you don't listen. You don't pay attention. You don't take heed to the warning. But on the day of judgment, when you cry out, it's going to be too late. God has warned you. Giving me water don't, come, don't shut me up. Giving me water don't change my mind. Giving me water don't cool out this fire for God. God is my provider. If I need water, I get it. If I need something to drink, he'll provide it. What's going, what's going, brother? I hear you, man. I would not. I had. I got to go down here and, uh, to the Plaza Center on uh, 23rd Street. Uh, if, I didn't, if I didn't have to, I'm going out here to but I, I see what you're doing. Oh, God bless you, ma'am, sir. Yeah, that's, man, that's just, I, my uh, mother stays right here. In, uh, okay, I just I just want to say, man, yeah, I am out here preaching the gospel. God is something because these, these people out here serving the, the, uh, the, the God the wrong way. You know, but I'm, also, you know, I just want to tell you, you know, because that little pamphlet that she just gave you, the one that it says repent. It's right here. It says Jesus saves from hell, right? And it tells you to repent. And uh, if you look on here, it says repent, and look what one of them is on there. Weed smoking. Yes. Yeah, we can't be smoking weed. We can't be getting high. I'm going to tell you why. I know that hurt. I know that hurt. And you got a Bible on you. you got a Bible. That's a Bible? Yeah, that's Okay, you know, the, 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 the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us to be sober. Okay, be sober. When we're high, we ain't sober. You know, we're under the influence of, 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 of narcotics. Yes. You know, now, just because the government said it's okay to do it, doesn't mean it's okay in the eyes of God. You know what I'm saying? God sent you. God rolled you down here. Nice fight, too. Thanks. God rolled you down here, man, for a reason. You know what I'm saying? For you to hear this. Oh, yeah. Because this is a warning. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condemning no. you. I'm not looking down on you. I'm warning you. It's just like in the street on the highway, man. When we drive down the highway, we see that sign say, drug offenders will be prosecuted. Yes. And it'll give you jail, hospital, or more. Yes. Or, or, or more oh, right? Yes. They're not judging us. They're warning us. And that's all I'm doing. Yes, sir. Because Jesus Jesus Christ is coming back. Oh, yeah. He's going to be the ruler of God's kingdom here on he, earth. He's, he, he's already yeah, the ruler. When he yes, came to, listen to this. When he came 2,000 years ago, he already set up his kingdom. Gotcha. It's a spiritual kingdom. We're in the kingdom right now. 
when he comes back that is the end of the world that is the end there's no seven year tribulations people telling you you gotta read your bible man you got a book that's good i encourage you to start reading like your chapter in matthew chapter one keep reading man until you finish the book see one thing i notice about you what i'm discerning about you is you got a humble heart you got an ear to listen you're not argumentative you're not trying to fight against it you're doing more better than these people in here you know what i'm saying but the thing is man god wants to repent Ain't kicking homeless people off there when i try to feed them they call them I believe that. I believe, well, you're just speaking the truth. You're just stating facts. But the thing is, what I'm telling you, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Look, go there. Go there. Yes, go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Yes, sir. 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 This is, this is what they don't do in them. They don't pull out the word in them. They don't talk about the Bible. No, no, no. They don't do that. They, they just don't tell you nothing about the Bible. You know? scares me. I don't like scares me. All right, so six. <laughs> okay. This is no, you, no, you say no. Okay. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is heaven, right? He said, if you're unrighteous, you're not going to get into heaven. So if we don't get into heaven, there is no purgatory like what they teach. Purgatory is nowhere in the Bible. They're either heaven or hell. There's, there's no in between. So either you're gonna, when you die, because the real us is the soul that's inside of us. This is just a body. Right. This no is a house God gave us to live in while we're here. Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, um, when we die, our soul leaves our body. The question is, does it go to heaven or does it go to hell? Because there's no middle ground. There is no resting in peace, yeah. like the world teaches. So when our soul leaves our body, Jesus told us the story about a man that was that was right with him and a man that wasn't right with him. One was his name was Lazarus, the other one was the rich man. We called him the rich man. The Bible says that when Lazarus died, the angels came and got him and they escorted him to heaven. So I see that's where your soul goes when you're right with God, when you're saved. Okay, but when you're not saved, the Bible says when the rich man died, he opened up his eyes in hell. And then he was being tormented by the flames. And one thing about hell, you have all your five senses. You have your you have your memory, you have your you have your sight, you have your ears, you can hear, you can taste, you can feel. Oh, and that is no. torture, brother. And oh. God doesn't want you to go there. No, this sir. is the reason why he got me out there. Because God, it's the nature of God to try to warn us before destruction comes. Right. You That's know what I'm saying? You have you heard God. You, ex exactly. And I don't exactly. want to give you up the weed Bible smoke because it's yeah, like but I you got, got my to. Yeah, but, yeah, that's yeah, a, but, yeah. but you got That's to. But you got to. You, that's the part of you that you have to kill. Right. You have to do it. And let me tell you something. On your own, you're not going to be able to do it because you're addicted to that. You like and that. Your flesh loves that. So on your own, you ain't going to be able to do it. So you have to get on your knees. And you have to pray to God and say, Father, no, first of all, you need, I know you believe in God, you believe in Jesus Christ, too, oh, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so by you believing that, you're saved. But the Bible tells us, because you have faith in Jesus Christ, you're saved. But the Bible tells us that you got to add to your faith. That word add means you got to add uh, excellence, which excellence means to excel. you got to go above than what you are right now, okay? If you're a weed smoker, you got to get past that. You know, you do got to sacrifice. You got to offer that up as a sacrifice, like like uh, like God offered up His Son as a sacrifice for the remission of our sins. You know, so you got to get on your knees and pray, and you got to ask God. We're gonna say a little prayer here too before you leave. But you gotta you gotta ask God. Hey man, is that is that weed he pouring out? You yeah, got it, was, that on it was just it was just some shake. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's good though. Man. I, I, I used to get my fruit, shake. That's the fruit of repentance. That's good though, man. I ain't gonna be no litter boy. Just just put it right there. Put it right there. Uh, you ain't gonna leave it. Is well, well, I let me take my name yeah. off of that. Make sure yeah. you know. I, just, I just don't want you to, to take it and then, and then go back and fill it up again. Oh, I ain't got no money to fill it up. <laughs> well, that's well, probably why God ain't that allowed you to have that money. But look what he said. He said, know ye not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of God. He said, now the fornicators, so we can't be sleeping around with women yeah, and they're not I, our wives. I let Tiny that's go. That's my wife. That's yes, my sir. Wife I right let there. Tiny. I, I met uh, Tiny. Well, we let the product on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com. I'm here from uh, Chicago to take care of my mom. So you from sure. Chicago? Yeah, Southside 51st and Avenue. Yeah. Motown. I went to school, the I went to school on Avenue. Over there, Tilden. I went, I went to Paul Robeson. Oh, Robeson. Yeah. Yes. I'm from, from Lakeside. I want to get caught up in that right now. Listen, man. I'm an oh, XGD. God bless you. I'm an XGD. I already know. I'm an XGD. 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 Okay, you'll be there for it. No, no. I used to be. I no longer in the game. So God has so, so, you, you, you. You understand where I came from. You get understand where I came from. That's where I'm from. from LSD. I uh, LSD. Uh, but LSD, I mean. Okay, so the thing is, I want to stay focused yes, on Christ. The thing is, you know how we lived in Chicago. Truly, I You do. know our lifestyle Whoa. in Chicago. You know yes. every day there's a war. This is like paradise. The funny thing is you know that me and you used to war together, but we at peace with each other now. 
But, yes. the, but, the, oh. but the thing, and this, this is show you God is good. God delivered me from that gang life. You know how many of my homies got killed? You know how many of my homies, that their, their bodies in the ground, but their souls are in hell? You know what I'm saying? I had to go to prison. I went to prison for 23 years. Ooh. That's where God got my attention. Yeah, because you know that thug life leads you there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I was in the feds for 23 much. years. Yeah. 23 years. Yeah. I fell in 1994. Yeah. I didn't get out until 2015. When yeah. I got out, of, when I got out and I had nobody, God uh, blessed me with a wife, and I've been good ever since then. Mm. That's God's doing. They gave me 57 mm. years. See, so when I'm out here preaching, man, telling people about God, I'm not telling them because I heard somebody else say it. I really do have an experience with God. I know my life. I've had hits on my life. I had people try to kill me. I know that, that God is real. He protected me. He saved me for a reason. I'm sure you beat me up. You're the black stone. I know you've been through you know what I'm saying? And by the grace of God, you're still alive. So the thing is now, the Bible tells us that now is the day of salvation. Right now. I can't say... Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and get my life right with tomorrow. We gotta start it today, brother. Let's say a quick prayer right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, thank you so much for sending this guy down this road, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, because everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for a purpose, Lord God. Lord, you sent us. You sent the guy, Lord God, who has a humble spirit, who listens to your word. I say a prayer for him, Lord God. I pray for his salvation. I pray that he give his life wholeheartedly to you, Lord. Father, I pray that you deliver him from that, that, that marijuana spirit, Lord God, that drug spirit. I pray that you deliver him from fornication, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would lead him to the right church, that you would give him a wife like you gave me a wife, Lord God. Somebody that will love him, that will cherish him, that will adore him. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, somebody that will listen to him. I pray that he get in your word, start studying your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, I'm exposing to him and to everybody that the Catholic Church is a false religion, a false, a false doctrine, Lord God. And I pray that you lead him to a Christian church, a Bible based church, Lord God, and I pray that everything I say to him, Lord God, everything that's being said to him, he'll remember that as he lay in his bed. Every time the devil tell him in his ear, go get some weed, he'll know that that's the devil. That ain't a thought from God. Father, we thank you, Lord. And Father, this if this is the only reason why I was sent here just for him, to you be all the glory and the praise, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Get his number. Put, put his number. Oh, oh, oh. Hang out on the phone. Oh, you on the phone. Oh, hang out on the phone. Don't worry. I'm going to keep praying. I got a message from my phone. I know you got a message. I got a message. God bless you, man. Look at you, man. They call me Joey. Joey. I used to be Joey G. Joey? Yeah. I'm Orlando Tane. They call me OT. Okay. Ma'am. All right, Joey. Remember what we said. Go. Bible says that when you repent of your sins, you shall be saved. Amen. 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 Jesus said, 
If you start reading that Bible, it will open up your eyes to let you know the things that you're learning in there is wrong. I myself grew up as a Catholic. I was taught that when I sin, I go to the priest and call him father. And I tell him, Father, forgive me for my sin. And he says, what have you done, my son? And I say, I've done this and I've done that. He tell me to get my rosary. He tell me to say 15 Hail Mary. But when I went to God and I started reading the Bible, none of that is in the Bible. There ain't no Hail Mary in the Bible. Ain't no rosaries in the Bible. If you sin, you sin against God. And if you sin against God, the Bible says, confess your sins to God. He is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's the only way we can be cleansed from unrighteousness. Uh, confess your sins to a priest. You went in there as a sinner and you leave as a sinner. Look how we come to church today. We come to church like we go in the club. We come to church like we're going to the beach. How can we do that? This is why This is why a lot of people don't come to Christ. How do we come to church like we're going to a tennis match? How do we do that? They ain't going to tell you no different. They're not going to tell you to be modest. They're not going to tell you how to live. They want you to pay your tithe. They want your money. Why they tell you falsehood. Read your Bible. Not one of you people are coming out of there without your Bible. Not one of you people coming out of there with Bible. The Bible says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We don't read our Bible. We'd rather listen to Father Frank. We're going to about to speak to you too. You're bringing your children in a house of devils. You're bringing your children in a house full of idols. You're not serving God. You think you're serving God the right way. You're serving him the wrong way. The devil is leading you and misleading you. And instead of you hearing the warning, you ain't warned. That's just like me telling you don't go in that building because the structure is going to fall. You still go in the building anyway and get destroyed. That's how dumb we can be. That's how stupid we can be. Start reading your Bible. Stop letting that man in that long, pretty robe tell you about God. Open the Bible and read about God yourself. Read about God yourself. When I tell you what God said, I give you scripture. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, the Bible says there's one God, one mediator between God and man, Christ Jesus. Which one of them is telling you what the scripture says in them? They're not doing that. We come into church with this long robe like we're holy, but our heart is defiled in the eyes of God. Our heart is defiled in the eyes of God. Our works, our works is abomination to God. You think you say 15 Hail Mary and you please God? You ain't please God like that. You want to please God, hear his word, and live by his word. That's how you please God. This could be your last warning, St. Patrick. I'm not coming here again. This could be your last warning. If God have mercy on you, he'll send another man. If he have mercy, this could be your last warning. My last day. I know you'll be happy. But on judgment day, I promise you, if you don't repent, you'll be sad. You'll be sad because you never listened to the word of God. All in the Bible, they always mock God's prophets. They always mock God, the children of God. They always beat them and did bad things for them. They call the, you call the post, police on me, they call the police on Jesus. They call the police on Jesus. Jesus says if they hated me, they'll hate you too. Jesus says a servant is not greater than his master. So if I'm out here and you don't call the police, the police on me, that means I'm greater than Jesus. One thing about it, though, the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper, every tongue that rise against you shall be condemned. There's nothing, no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. You call the police, the police ain't going to do nothing but go hear my side, go hear your side, shake my hand and tell me keep preaching and leave. It didn't work in your favor. Why? Because God is with me. God is on my side. I don't know who's in that maroon car, but I hope you listen to what I'm saying. The message is to you too. You parked in front of a Catholic church. The Catholic church is an abomination. This is not the church of God. This is the church of the devil. They got St. Patrick Catholic Church. The word Catholic is nowhere in the Bible, and the word Patrick is not in the Bible. Why are we putting these things on God's church? Why are we worshiping St. Patrick? Why are we honoring St. Patrick? Who in the world is St. Patrick? St. Patrick ain't nobody in the eyes of God if he wasn't saved, if he wasn't holy or walking righteous, and even if he was walking holy, he ain't worthy enough to be put on, a, on, on God's church. Nobody is. The only name we should have on that church is Jesus Christ. Because that's who Cain, that's who preached, that's who cast out demons, that's who raised the dead, that's who, who, that, that's who told us he loved us, that's who fed us, and that's who died and resurrected and went back to the heaven, and that's the one who's our mediator. That's our advocate, not Mary. 
Not the dead saints. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord, not Mary. Jesus Christ is Lord, not the saints. Jesus Christ is our mediator. No one else. No one else. Repent. Repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Stop getting sprinkled with water. That ain't a baptism. Baptism means to be submerged under the water. Ain't that how John the Baptist did it? John the Baptist put them in the water and, and, and took them down. He submerged them in the water. Not taking something and sprinkling on their forehead. That ain't say, yeah, I'm glad I see you again. You need to repent, sir. You're teaching these people the wrong way. You're teaching them that there's an other mediator other than Christ. There is no other mediator other than Jesus Christ. Stop teaching them to say 15 Hail Mary because that is worthless. You're on a high, you're going to be held to a higher standard. You're in a position teaching, teaching these people to transgress the words of God. Your tradition is transgressing the commandments of God. If I was you, I would get out of that church. That is a bad church to be in. The spirit of God is not in that church. There's only a spirit of the devil in there. But you hear that and you still turn around and go back in the building. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. On the day of judgment when Christ come back, you will be in without an excuse because you were warned. Yeah, I'm back again. They called the police on me again. They came, shook my hand and left. No weapon for me against me shall prosper. God is on my side. It is God that let me out here, not the devil. The devil would never do that. The devil is on the inside of that building, teaching you to transgress the words of God. This is the next service, right? All right, let's go. Oh, it started. I pray we'll all.